Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to log in to the CIS server. Now I'm running Linux at home so I'm going to SSH into the server. If you run Linux or a Mac you can also SSH in. If you run Windows you'll need to open up PowerShell and then follow the SSH directions. If you aren't comfortable with that or you don't want to use PowerShell, what you can do instead is use something called PuTTY. PuTTY, when you run it, is going to look like this image here. The host name is the URL that I've given you. The defaults of port 22 SSH is totally fine. If you would like to save the session so that you don't have to enter in the host name every time, you can do that. Just give your session a name. So the way that we're going to SSH into the server is you use the command SSH and then you're going to use your username. So in my case, it's my name, Ehold and Gover. Your username is the first letter of your first name, your last name, and then four digits. Your usernames and passwords are in Blackboard. So for SSH, I say SSH space my username, and then I have to say at, as in the at sign, and then I'm going to type in the name that my server is where it lives. So in this case, it's the CIS server, so it's cis.necc.mass.edu. And then this is going to say, I want to securely connect to the CIS server with the username A. Holden Gover. Now, if everything goes right, you'll see my Dr. Seuss welcome message, which I will try to change every month. And then you're going to see a place to enter in your password. Now, a really important note here passwords won't show up. So when I start typing, you're actually not going to see anything happening on the screen. What you're going to see is just the cursor blinking. So what I'm going to do is enter in my password, which I'm doing right now. I'm typing it in and you'll notice nothing is happening. And then I hit enter. And then you can see I'm logged in. My command prompt has changed. I am now a Holden Gover at CIS. I just named the server CIS for simplicity. And you can see that I've logged in. I've started in my home. The last time I logged in was Monday and I'm all ready to go and start following the instructions for how I can navigate around the server. Now, if you don't see my little Dr. Seuss welcome message or whatever the message is for the month, um, several things could have gone wrong. You could have the wrong host name. You could be doing the SSH wrong. Um, it wouldn't be a problem for your username. Um, usernames, it isn't, it's still going to show you the welcome message, it's just not going to let you log in. When you enter in your password, the password is going to be capital C I S 117 and then four random digits. Now, what you're going to see on Blackboard is the your first name and last name. Then you're going to see your username, which is the first letter of your first name, your last name, and then four digits. And then your password will be capital C, lowercase i, lowercase s, 117, and then four random digits. And you're going to enter that in when it prompts for your password. If you have any problems or questions, please let me know. If you need your password reset, let me know, and I can do that as well please make sure that you test your login information early so that if there are any problems or questions, we can get them figured out before the first lab is due. Thank you.